Hey everybody, we are back to uh, talk about a, another cookbook. So I have a diabetic uh, cooking cookbook here, Great Healthy Foods, Diabetes, uh, includes nutritional analysis for over a hundred recipes. Uh, I looked up information about uh, the health risks in, in the, the United States and diabetes is under just under heart conditions for uh, illnesses in, in, uh, in our, our world. Uh, so diabetes is definitely, a, a, I think it's a, called a pandemic as far as our health is concerned. Um, I myself am a pre-diabetic and I don't eat like it, but you know, I should. And then, you know, we also want to talk about easy lunches. And I know every morning, what am I going to take for lunch today? And uh, so uh, I usually grab some leftovers. But uh, we're going to make one of these recipes. It's called a shrimp and apple pita pocket. And so all it is, is we have uh, some tiny shrimp. And we're going to double this because we want to share this with the, uh, with the staff. So I have a six ounce can and the recipe calls for three and a half ounces. So we're just, well, I've drained it. And then, oh, uh, we did not, I guess probably should have shredded the crab. Forgot all about it. I'm just going to put this in here and this is a 16 ounce and this recipe calls for 8 ounce so I'm just going to chop this up real quick now the recipe all Calls for shimari shirm, imitation diced uh, crab meat. And this is imitation crab meat. I don't know what that, I don't know if the shimari is a brand or what. Give this a quick chop. Okay, now the apples. It calls for one large chopped apple. Uh, so since we're doubling our recipe, this is two large chopped apples. It looks like a lot of apple, but we've got it. We might as well just go for it. We're gonna put this all in here. Now, I thought my sister was the worst one about modifying recipe. Always adding something. Yes, Shelby, I'm talking about you. Um, I thought a little bit of onion, some green onion would be good in this. And Patricia agreed. So, I've added some green onion to this. Now, for the dressing, I guess I can't do that that way. I'll put this lid back on. And it calls for two teaspoons. I mean, it calls for one teaspoon. So, I'm doing two teaspoons. Head big on the teaspoon because that's a lot of apple. And then it also calls for two teaspoons of olive oil. So that means we're going to have to do four. It 
calls for a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar. Oh, there goes my lid. So we do two teaspoons of that. We'll find that later. And some salt and pepper. We're making this ahead of time so that, that uh, all those good flavors will get mixed in and then we'll have it for, uh, the staff will have it for their lunch tomorrow. And of course, we'll be back to show you how our pita pockets are put together. I'm gonna mix all this up and um, it's probably gonna take all night for it, you know, to all, for all that dressing to to soak in and cover, because this is a lot. But I think it's gonna be yummy. Mm-hmm, it's yummy. Alrighty, so I'll see you back tomorrow. Okay, it's lunchtime, and uh, we are talking about healthy eating. Uh, I pulled out, we have several diabetic books, cookbooks. Um, uh, this one says, uh, tell me what to eat if I have type 2 diabetes. Uh, so there's lots of information that you could come here, here to the library and get uh, about diabetes. Um, so yesterday, after Patricia and I taste tested, uh, we decided to add a little more of the dressing. And uh, so we have, we, we picked up these, uh, they're Greek pita po pockets. They're, they're high in fiber. And they're not really the traditional. They, you can't split them. But anyway, so it's, you know, it's whatever you, whatever you buy. It calls for, the recipe calls for many pita pockets. Now I've saw the, you know, the regular size pita pockets, but I have not seen the many ones. So uh, we may just, they may just not have them in this area. So we are going, the staff is going to eat healthy today. Uh, I know if you work in a factory it is so easy to just grab something from the wheel of death. I I did that many many times because I worked in factories for several years, and uh, it's it's hard to make yourself prepare something the night before to take for lunch, and and uh, then of course there's the. Uh, Grab a bag of potato chips and a, and a soda. We've all done that. And I'm just gonna add some lettuce. That's what the recipe calls for, is, is some lettuce. So add a little crunch and fold this up. Now that's that's a hearty sandwich. And so let's just give it a taste. It's good. The apple is still a little crispy. I recommend it. It's good. Okay, thanks for joining me. Bye.